Erectile dysfunction is defined as the difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection long enough to proceed with sexual activity, however an individual defines that. Erectile dysfunction is incredibly common. We often say that 50% of men who are 50 will experience erectile dysfunction. 60% of men who are 60, 70% of men who are 70. But in my own practice, I can tell you 40% of guys who are 40, 30% of guys who are 30. I see men even in their 20s who have erectile dysfunction. So unfortunately, this can affect any age. At its core, erectile dysfunction is a problem related to blood flow. And so anything that impacts our blood flow can potentially lead to erectile dysfunction. Common medical conditions like coronary artery disease or high blood pressure, things like diabetes and certain medications can lead to the development of erectile dysfunction. Oftentimes there is also a psychological component, but usually erectile dysfunction starts as a physical problem. Typically, the diagnosis of erectile dysfunction is made primarily in the office with a history. We simply meet and discuss the issues that guys are having to establish what type of erectile problems are occurring. In some cases, we perform an ultrasound called a duplex penile ultrasound, where we measure the blood flow in the penis to acquire more data to try and figure out exactly why this is going on. Erectile dysfunction can affect men of any age and of any health history. But there are some things that we know we can do to improve our blood flow, which improves our erectile function and minimizes our worsening erectile function over time. So we think about things like our diet. We think about minimizing saturated fats and simple sugars in our diet. We think about tight sugar control or glucose control if we're diabetic. We think about keeping our blood pressure at a healthy level if we have high blood pressure. And we think about things like cardiovascular exercise, 30 minutes a day, three times a week. We know these things improve our blood flow and may minimize the development of erectile dysfunction over time. There are a number of treatment options that can be successful for erectile dysfunction. Many men are familiar with the pill option, what are called phosphodiesterase inhibitors. These are pills that dilate the blood vessels carrying blood to the penis to improve our erectile function. Some men place a pellet in the tip of the penis that when dissolved gives medication that acts locally to the erectile bodies to dilate the blood vessels and help with the erectile function. Other men inject medication directly into the penis that dilates the blood vessels for an erection to occur. Sometimes men use a vacuum pump, which is placed over the penis. There's a rubber gasket at the base that forms an airtight seal with the skin and a hand pump that causes negative pressure to draw blood into the penis for the erection to occur. Many men are successfully treated with what's called a penile implant, which is essentially an internal penis pump where we place cylinders in the erectile bodies of the penis that are controlled by a pump in the scrotum. There are many options that can be very successful for men who have erectile dysfunction, depending on what works best for each individual guy. The best way to determine which treatment is right for each man is to meet with a urologist who is experienced in all of these different treatment options so that we can talk about the positives and negatives of the various treatment approaches. Many men come to see me because they have already tried pills and are no longer finding them successful. And if that's the case, we talk about these different options and how we move forward. In some cases, in my office, I perform what's called a duplex penile ultrasound to measure the blood flow in the penis, which can be a very helpful way to determine what our next best steps are. Overall, 
satisfaction rates for many of our treatments for erectile dysfunction decrease fairly significantly over time. Obviously, if pills are working well and they continue to work well, then that's a very satisfactory treatment over the long haul. But many men unfortunately experience that the pills no longer work well and we have to transition to different treatment options. Ultimately, we know that the penile implant is the only treatment option with long-term patient and partner satisfaction rates greater than 95%. Oftentimes, months or even years before noticing erectile dysfunction at the time of desired sexual activity, men have lost the nighttime and early morning erections that are responsible for the health of the erectile bodies of the penis. What gradually happens over time is the healthy vascular or spongy tissue of the erectile bodies gets replaced by scar tissue. Unfortunately, that scar tissue does not stretch as well as our healthy tissue does, and it doesn't hold blood as well as our healthy tissue does, which leads to shortening of the penis and worsening erectile dysfunction over time. So it really is important for guys to pay attention to what's going on with their sexual health, and when they start to notice a problem, to seek help because we do have great options to continue our function over the long term.